Today I'm going to show you guys how you can get these really cool and unique security cam effects just like this. Now there's two ways you can do this. First way is doing it manually. And the second way is using my brand new plugin called Surveillance. It allows you to instantly add these looks and fully customize them inside of the plugin. So starting off, we're going to be doing it the completely free way here. So to get started, we have our clip here inside of After Effects. We're going to right click and create an adjustment layer here. And then on top of our adjustment layer, we're going to add Mosaic. And then we're going to add Grain. And we're going to change the viewing mode to a final output on the grain. And let's change this mosaic. Let's change it to something like 250 and 250. You guys can see we already kind of have a security camera look. Let's drag and drop the grain on top of that there. And then we're going to turn up the intensity of it just so we get a little bit of those colored pixels there. And then from here on out, it's totally up to you guys of what kind of overlays you want to use. Just to give you guys an example here, if we go onto YouTube and we search up security camera overlay, we have so many different options here that we can just drag and drop on top. All you have to do is download them and put them on. Link below, I'm going to leave you guys some free overlays that you can use. You guys can see if I drag and drop them in here, we have a really unique overlay like this. And also inside of the download that I'll give you guys as well, I'm going to have these face trackers as well that you guys can put inside of your footage to get some really cool looks I'm about to show you guys right now. So if we drag and drop this red basic below our adjustment layer, you guys can see we get that really cool distorted look on it. Let's go to the very beginning of our scene here. And what we could do is go up and turn on transform position and scale, and we'll bring that on his face. And then we'll turn up the scale and we'll have that right on his face. And then as the video goes along, what we could do is move this and scale it down and we'll get a pretty cool look just like this. Now that looks all right, but let's try moving the overlay in behind the adjustment layer. And that really blends it in a lot better with the aesthetic. And then what we could do as well, throw on tints on top of the overlay here, the transparent one and map the white to red. So we could change the overlay to also a cool red color as well. I think that looks super cool there, guys. Let's go back into the adjustment layer here. And I think if we add a Lumetri color, let's turn down the shadows, turn the highlights up and then turn the saturation up. I think this is a super cool distorted look might not be your guys's type of look here but i think it looks pretty cool especially for the fact of the video now moving on next what we could do to make this look even cooler is add some little, little bit of spice to the face tracker here so also link below in the free download i'm gonna have this right here that's called add tracker if we go ahead and add that on you guys can now see we have the tracker shaking around and moving looking super duper sick. And just like before, how we did on the other look, if you wanna go onto your footage and type in tint as well, you could put that on your footage and then map the white to let's say a green and then play with the percentage. And you could add like a little bit of a green tint to your footage here, especially if we just put it on like that percentage. And you could change that to any color that you guys like to kind of get more of a unique looking security camera look there. Pair this with some sound effects, some sound design and you guys are set with a really cool security cam look. All right, and now I'm gonna put you guys onto the second way that you can do it, which is my favorite way because it's so much easier. All you have to do is open up the surveillance plugin that will be linked below if you guys wanna go check it out. We're gonna pick our footage as 4K and we're gonna hit choose footage. Now, once we're inside of choose footage, you wanna go into your project and select your composition, which we have right here. You can hit this button to load it up and then we're gonna go into looks. And you guys can see that instantly all of these preset looks load up just like so. And all you have to do is just go through them with the arrow key here. And you could check out all the different built-in ones that are inside of here and the built-in overlays as well. Now, some of them might look a little weird like this, but don't worry, you can edit them inside of here to get them looking a lot different, especially if you play with the light and radius, you can get some really cool digital synth ones just like this. Or if you go back, another digital synth one, and you have some really cool night vision ones. You have this one, which is super unique, especially if you add face trackers to it. You have these glitches, these night visions. And I think my favorite one is these CRT ones here, especially the color ones. If you see the thermal one here, let's talk about this one as well. Super unique. So let's go night vision CRT, and then you guys can mess with the quality and the noise all inside of here. Or if you want to get a look similar to the one that we just made in just a few clicks, we have the black and white camcorder. And then all you have to do is just turn up the quality and turn down the noise. You get something like we had before and you could add a little bit of glitch to it. And if you're wondering where are the face trackers, guys, all you have to do is go over to track, hit face, and instantly these face trackers are brought in that you can then put on top of their face. And clicking on the settings tool here, you could then mess with the type of face tracker you want. Let's say we want the box. You can play with the shake, the flicker, 
the different colors of it. And inside of here, you can mess with a lot more. Like you can mess with the stroke width, making it wider or smaller. And there's honestly just so much customizability inside of this plugin. You guys can see immediately right there, we have a really cool look. All you have to do now is go ahead and hit transform, hit the position and scale. And then just like before that we did, you do unfortunately have to track the face tracker just like this, but you have a really cool look like this in a few seconds. All you have to do is hit done to finish it. Call it something like face track hit OK. And then inside of your project here, you will have the face track inside of the surveillance folder, just like so. And that's pretty much how you guys can use surveillance on your footage. If you guys want the free assets, you can download those below. Or if you want to go ahead and cop surveillance, you guys can use code 15 off to save yourself 15% off the plugin. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.